Hey scholars, welcome back to Mr. Brandon's writing lesson. So excited to see everybody on here today again for another day of writing. So guys, we have a really fun lesson plan today. So scholars, as well, always, we're going to get started by taking out our pencil and a piece of paper. So go ahead and pause your video and take out a pencil and a piece of paper and we will get started with our lesson for the day. Alrighty guys, so we have our tools and we have our pencil and paper out and we are ready to get started here for our writing lesson. So guys, we are going to start off by reviewing a student's writing response from last week. So let's take a look at this writing response and see how they did, okay? So they wrote, I felt proud of myself today. So it looks like they use good spelling, punctuation, capitalization, and spacing so far. They wrote, I was in the kitchen drawing, so that was the first event that took place. I was drawing a yellow duck. My yellow duck was perfect. So, they had four sentences, so for kindergarten, that's a really good response, but for first grade, we need one more sentence. And guys, just remember to try and use different types of punctuation, so they used all periods in that uh, writing response, but Try and uh, use some question marks or exclamation marks just to break things up a little bit. And uh, let's take a look here. But yeah, everything else looks great. Spelling, capitalization, spacing. This is a really good writing response. So thank you so much to whomever sent that. And guys, we are going to get started with our writing response. Or I'm sorry, our writing prompt. But first, let's take a look at what my expectations are for your writing responses. All right, guys. So as always... For our writing responses, we are going to respond to the prompt that I give you. Kindergarten, you're going to give four sentences. So give me four sentences of a response in first, next, and last order of the events that happened. Make sure that you tell me the characters that were in the story and the setting, so where the story took place. And as always, we pay attention to punctuation, spelling, spacing, and capitalization. Now, first grade, you're going to be doing the same exact thing, except you're going to be giving me five sentences. You're going to give me a five-sentence paragraph giving me the character, setting, and events that took place. All right, guys, so now that we had that reminder on what I expect from your writing responses, let's get our prompt for the day. So, guys, what I want you to write about is your favorite outdoor activity, okay? So we have summer coming up here, and you're going to be spending a lot of time outdoors. So I want to know what your favorite thing to do outside is. So do you like going on a slip and slide? Do you like um, playing tag? Do you like riding your bike? So guys, write about your favorite thing to do outside. Guys, I'm looking forward to seeing what your responses are. Um, as always, kindergarten, four sentences, first grade, five sentences. And guys, keep sending in the good work and make, making sure that you're finishing Lexia and Zern. And, and I will see you again tomorrow for another writing lesson. All right, bye guys.